And we begin with breaking news here at 6 o'clock. Thank you for joining us. Federal investigators say a suspect murdered a Terre Haute police detective, ambushing him after luring him outside with a Molotov cocktail. That's one of the new details that we've learned today in the death of Detective Greg Ferency. The suspect now publicly named and charged with premeditated murder of a federal agent. Let's get right to our team coverage tonight, starting with I-Team 8's Richard Essex. Shane Behan has been named the suspect in the shooting death of Detective Ferency here in Terre Haute. Meehan is a retired federal correctional officer and ran for mayor here in Terre Haute just two years ago. According to court documents obtained by IT Mate, the suspect, Shane Meehan, drove past the FBI office in Terre Haute several times, stopping his truck, getting out, and throwing a Molotov cocktail over the fence. That is when Detective Ferency walked out of the building and the suspect opened fire. The detective did return fire but later died from gunshot wounds at an area hospital. This morning, Paul Keenan, FBI special agent in charge of the Indianapolis office said federal agents searched the suspect's home and vehicles. An agent inside our office heard the gun, gunshots, came outside, and engaged the suspect and fired at him. The suspect sub subsequently left the scene and drove himself to the hospital. Meenan was shot twice and remains in the hospital in the custody of the FBI. Late this morning in the parking lot where the shooting happened, federal crime scene investigators, some flown into Terre Haute specifically for this investigation, were busy coming through every inch of the parking lot. This is the house listed on county election records of what is believed to be the last known address for Shane Meehan, a man that said he was a friend of the family, was putting the front door back on the house and said the family wasn't interested in talking and they are still trying to make sense of what happened. He declined to say much more. We are told that Detective Ferency split his time between the FBI and the Terre Haute Police Department. Neither would say if the suspect was under investigation prior to the shooting. And one issue that has not been talked about is motive. Why did Meehan attack an FBI office here in Terre Haute, Indiana? Meehan will face the charge of premeditated murder of a federal officer. And Terre Haute, Richard Essex, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Richard, thank you. Let's talk about Terre Haute Police Detective Greg Ferency. We are learning much more tonight about the man who died serving a city. Ferency was a father of two adult children. He had been part of the Terre Haute Police Department for 30 years and was working as part of a federal task force yesterday. The Terre Haute Police Chief told us today that he's known Ferency for more than two decades. He was actually my neighbor right before I came on the police department. Um, you'll not meet a finer person. Um, you don't spend 30 years in this profession without being dedicated. And he was absolutely dedicated. Um, there's not anything that he did that he didn't put 110% into. Um, it just, he was an amazing person. Um, you know, whether it was about a meth lab or human trafficking, he would do everything possible to find everything about that particular uh, crime. Um, and he was a teacher. He, he did so many more things that I can't sit here and explain to all of you. Those of us that work with him know. Um, he was an amazing person. And uh, I just can't say that enough. Very strong words there awesome and loved is all, all of what we've been hearing about. The city of Terre Haute is rushing to praise a fallen hero. News 8's David Williams picks up our team coverage. It was devastating for everybody and again our thoughts and prayers go out to his family. If you take a drive through the main part of town, it's almost as if you can feel the air of sadness. Several businesses have flags at half staff. Even this electronic billboard honors the city's law enforcement along with yesterday's state. There's one thing I've seen in Terre Haute is how tight this community is and it always takes care of its own. It always backs the blue. For years, Jay Dorman knew Detective Greg Ferency. He'd talk to anybody. We'd sit around, joke, uh, talk a little bit of shop, you know, how his life was going, what he was doing, or we'd talk about his kids. With a smile always on his face, Ferency would come to the dealership. My interactions were always good with Greg. I mean, yeah, he, he just a cool cat. Detective Ferency spent 30 years on the force with Terre Haute Police. Since 2010, he had been with the FBI task force. Alex Ringwald knew Ferency in passing when he would come to the gun store. He's a great guy. He was always dedicated to his job and really enthusiastic about what he did. Dorman shared this heartfelt message Thursday. Show some respect for law enforcement. They're out there doing a job that, you know, they don't get paid a ton and they're putting their life on the line. You know, sometimes these guys don't get to come home. 
remember that, you know. Yesterday was senseless. He didn't need to die. I also spoke with a Terre Haute police officer who knew Detective Ferency. He tells me Ferency was an absolutely amazing man, and he says you could not have asked for a better person. In Terre Haute, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. David, thank you. Head to wishtv.com right now for all of our coverage. You can read through the details of the newly released court documents, plus get reaction from Terre Haute and around the state. Again, that's all right now on wishtv.com.